Okay, so you might have missed this. It's only been mentioned about 4,000 times in the media this week. But we're now less than 100 days away from the general election. Politicians are merrily making pledges and promises all over the place. A guarantee of resources for this, money ring fence for that, and spending commitments for Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. But one thing is noticeably lacking. Where are they going to make savings? All the parties are promising to balance the books, but there's precious little detail of how it's actually going to happen. Will they look at means testing pension and benefits, for example? Will any party be brave enough to suggest proper reform of the NHS so that it might be sustainable with an ageing population? And what about scrapping some departments altogether? The business secretary proposed the abolition of his department before he was put in the job, but it's still there, and he's still there. Taxpayers deserve far more detail about what their vote might mean. We're £1.4 trillion in debt, and so long as politicians continue spending more than the revenue they raise, that figure is only going to keep on growing, leaving you, me and our children and grandchildren on the hook. Politicians might think they can get away with spin and loose commitments, but we deserve better than that. It's time they injected a little more honesty into this election campaign about how exactly they're going to make those vital savings.